Hey, what's up, y'all? So it's Grey's Anatomy, season 16, episode 15, Snow Blind. Um, so yeah, we're just continue right where we, you know, kind of left off on um, station 19. Um, so they, they, you know, the storm's happening, everything at the same time. The episode pretty much starts off with DeLuca going to get a liver for the, for a little girl. Um, you know, so Dr. McWidow, I think his name is Hayes. Um, I'm still trying to figure that out. He's just so dreamy. I can't, you know, figure it out. But, um, Dr. Luca, the Luca, he goes and gets uh, this liver for this little girl, and he walks three miles to the next hospital, Seattle Press, and it's like eight degrees, negative fifteen with the wind, and <sighs> Meredith's like, "Bro, what you doing, bro? That's not smart." And you know, at this point, like he don't even really care, bro. He don't even want to hear from her. Like he man, bro, I broke up with you for a reason. F off, leave me alone type deal that's how he is and um yeah so then he just wanders off and just goes on out in the wind blind um in the snow blind hey the snow blind this is what the episode is called um so bailey but didn't i tell y'all like three four weeks ago that bailey was gonna have that boy joey was gonna be living in her house i knew it i knew it she had this instinct ever since she met him. And partly because of, you know, maybe losing the baby, she felt she needed the void to feel that. But then also, um, with Warren, he felt the same way. Like, you know, they talked about it. Like I told you, that's what it was. I told you like a couple weeks ago on the episode of um I think it was last week on uh, on Station nineteen where Warren and Sullivan talked about her, you know, or talking about having a baby and everything like that. He thought he was content, blah, blah, blah. He was like, what about adoption, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So she brought the boy home, and Warren come on, he's like, bro, that dude in my clothes. <laughs> and then she was like, we need to talk. And he just has, like, this huge smile on his face, so I know he doesn't really care. He He's not, like, mad or angry or, you know, anything like that, so. That I know is going to work out. Um, Link. Bro, bro, my Link is so sad. You know, about a million and everything. But I was trying to figure out, like, bro. You're upset because, you know, she broke up with you. Because you don't know if you can be with her if the baby's not yours. Like, is the reason you love her because she's having your baby? Or is it because you actually love her? So, you know, that's what you need to figure out. So that's why she kind of broke up with you, and I kind of get with that and agree with that. So, you know, man up, buddy. Um, Weber, I feel like Weber has found his next Bailey slash Meredith, like, in this um this girl. Like, so I read on a couple of vlogs that the girl who was pretending to be a doctor, that she was going to be joining the show as an intern. So I'm thinking, like, who the way it seems like she's going to be you know his next protege that he's going to be mentoring again i'm here for it she seems I, I really like her even though she was pretending to be a doctor and almost cut somebody open uh but we'll see how that turns out um teddy um thinks that owen is the baby daddy of amelia baby and she talks to tom karastic about it and they kind of talk about, you know, she feels like if Amelia is the baby, uh, if Amelia, if Owen is Amelia's baby daddy, she kind of feels like Amelia um, and Owen won't be able to stay apart from each other. And I'm kind of like, that, bro, that's kind of nonsense. Like, bro, Teddy, you are the one that got away, like, several times. Do you really honestly think that he would leave you to go back to Amelia? Well, I'll tell you what. He gonna leave you now because you stupid. Why in the world would you go and have sex with Tom Karastic? What what possess you to do that? Like, you're a whole engaged woman. You just had a kid. And you find out that there's a possibility of him being the, the baby daddy. And you, the first thing you do is go have sex with Tom Karastic. Bro, he don't even know. Your baby daddy don't even know what's going on, and you telling me that's what you're going to do? 
that's wild. That's super wild. Like, bro, you're engaged. You don't even know for sure if the baby is his or not. So, like, that, that was just a whole jump to conclusion. That was a twist that I was not expecting. But I'm not very happy about it either. I'm just like, bro, Teddy, I really liked you. Now you just make me not like you or Tom. Like, man, this is just starting to get crazy. I just don't I don't know how I feel about this. Um, let me move back down to a, to a 10. <sighs> so the Luca, he come back to the hospital. And, you know, he come back and he like, <laughs> the dude walked three miles in in negative 15 degree with windshield with no gloves on. Carrying, like, bro, are you stupid? That's how you make money with your hands and you're telling me you're not going to protect them? Like, what are you doing? So he come back and his hands is black. So his his hands, he, he walked in there like this. His, that's, how his, that's how dark his hands look. Blue is like this. And it's like stuck. And he was like, he's moving, but it was weird. It was weird to see. I'm like, dude, how dumb are you? And honestly, I don't think that the Luca is, they're saying that they're concerned about him being like his dad. But at the same time, I don't really think that's what it is. I think that he's with Mary. He was with Mary Gray, and you know he has something to prove because he was with Mary Gray, the Mary Gray. So it's kind of like, you know, I don't think that he necessarily has the same issue that his father had. And just like he said, every time you forget something, I don't say you have all timers. So why is it that you're saying that there's something wrong with me mentally? I understand completely where Deluca is coming from with that. Um. So it's kind of like, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I, I feel, I feel, I feel totally weird about this whole situation. Um, it can go either way at this point. Um, so Meredith, you know, was breaking up with, with um, the Luca and everything. Now she's talking to Mick Widow, and everything. And they're in surgery together. He's yelling at patient or yelling over the phone, talking about, you know, that's when they, um, the Luca went to go get that liver. Um, so it's, she's like, bro, you need to calm down. She's just embarrassed that I'm yelling and you're yelling and this, you know, you can't be doing that. So, you know, you know how, you know how they talk and, um, everything. So I'm like, so they have surgery together with the little girl. And they get to talking about Alex. Um, and say he's supposed to be, um, you know, the co uh, peas director, and he ain't showed up. And they were talking about how Yang, what Yang calls Alex. I can't remember at this very moment. I don't know. My mind's all over the place. And then she's like, Meredith. Um, Meredith asked. What did Christina say about me? He was like, nothing. And they kind of leave it at that. And they talk about, you know, being married being married and losing, you know, their spouse and everything like that. Now, later on, they kind of talk about how, you know, uh, what you do, um, like your first steps after, you know, losing somebody. And I feel like, man, this is a whole Riggs thing already. Like, Riggs lost his woman. And... You know, then he found his woman. I mean, I feel like this is like a Riggs storyline all over again. I'm like, bro, can we let this go? Can we let this go? Why can't she just be happy with the Luca? Y'all just couldn't let it be good, y'all. Y'all just couldn't. Huh, whatever. Maybe the Luca and Maggie will get back together. Now that I totally see the possibility of Maggie and Tom getting together. It's totally going for me. Um, You know, maybe that could happen maybe. Yeah. Maybe DeLuca and Maggie could get back together or something. I mean, like, Maggie's got to find love for real. Um, But, yeah. So, you know, they talk about everything. Then they get outside and they kind of talk about it a little bit more. And he's like, who was DeLuca to you? And she says, you know, DeLuca was my first, the first man I said I love you to after, since my husband had died. And, you know, that's where they stood. And... You know, of course, they're broken up now. Um, and, he, and he's like, Christina did mention um, talking about Meredith. And he's like, I'm guessing that was you that she was talking about. 
And she was like, yeah, that was me. And he's like, bro, good night. Um, last but not least, we get to see um, Jackson and Vic talk it out. And we saw that they were arguing on Station 19. And we see now in this episode where they kind of talked it out and figured everything out. And the argument they were having was stupid. Um, Link went to go see Joe. She, he's at the door. But she thinks that it's Alex. And he's like, bro, he left me. Alex has left me. And this is preparing us for what we're about to see next week. And I'm so glad. But oh, we're going to see how Alex's story comes to an end. I hope she don't kill him off. I really hope she don't kill him off. But, you know, we'll see. Um, Alex dumb. It's dumb. Like, bro, why did you have to leave this show? You were, like, the last person. I feel like they got to bring somebody back. Like, can we get an April? Can we get a Cali? Can we get an Arizona? Can we get um, a freaking Christina Yang? Like, that would make everything better in my life. Or Captain Heigl. Can we get somebody back from the past? Can we freaking not take Erica Hahn? Huh? Like, I'll take anybody. I mean, bring back Ricks. Like, Somebody, the void is filling in my heart. Weber ain't gonna be able to do surgery no more. He's probably gonna end up leaving the show. Like, bro, we're gonna have only two original cast members left. <sighs> Can we figure this out? And the only reason she's still on here is because it's Grey's Anatomy, bro. I'm so tired of this. I'm tired of this church. I'm tired of this church. Can't lose anybody else. We need people to come back to the show. And I feel like a lot of people left the show because they felt like, um, they felt like they, you know, could get a better job on another show that was going to last longer. And at the same time, they didn't last. So, you know, hey, we'll see what happens. But the only person on here who has a steady job right now that has been on Grace and Addie Me, um, I guess Christina Yang kind of has a steady job, but then also... Um, uh, Skylar Lee, which played Lexi, she has a steady job on, she's got a good job on, uh, Supergirl, so, I mean, like, none of these jobs outside of the show have lasted, so, you know, you left the show for nothing, please just come back, please come back, we need you guys, come on now, you've, you've had two, two, two years now, you got a two-year break, you tell me you don't want to make no money, dog, whatever, I'm gonna just go, I'll see you guys on Monday, um, Please like, comment, subscribe, and share, um, and I'll see you guys later.